Hello, this video is to show you how to connect your Bosch OBD2 1050 scanner to your iOS device. So I don't have an Android device. Uh, I'm going to connect it on my iPad because I need to use my phone for filming. But this is just to show you how to pair it. So first, plug it in to your OBD2 port on your vehicle. Sorry, there's no light down there, so it won't show. I just connected it to my vehicle. I downloaded the app before. This is on my iPad, but if you have an iPhone, it's basically the same thing. Uh, the only thing is, if you use an iPad, make sure you have the iPhone store or iPhone app section selected. It's only in the iPhone section, not the iPad section. It, that's a very important fact because if you search for the app, you will not find it. Okay, I'm going to minimize this anyways. I'm turning the vehicle on so that way I get power to the scanner. And then I'm going to connect through Bluetooth. One way you can see I have Bluetooth turned off on my iPad right now. That's the Wi Fi only is up. Here I've selected the menu system through here. I'm going to turn Bluetooth on. The other way to do it is hit your home button once, go to settings, go to Bluetooth, and then switching it here. Now it's off. Now it's on. Okay, now I'm going to wait for it to register. The device showed up. Here it is under other devices, but it's not paired yet. I need to tap on it once. Now this first step is just to pair it with my iOS device. It's going to take a you know, few seconds to do that, but then after that I have to open it up with the Bosch U-Scan software and then I can view it. Okay, so it's connected. You can see it's under My Devices. This U-Scan shows up by the serial number. I'm going to go back out now. I want to open the Bosch app. Uh, I'll just double click to get it. Here's my Bosch app. As soon as you open it, it's going to find it. Hit select. My U scan is selected. This is the first time connecting it to this iPad. The, I just downloaded the software, so if this is your first time, these will be the same menus you'll get. I want to add my vehicle. It's going to so find it by VIN. I'm not sure on this vehicle what it is. It does have ABS, but I don't know what the East. EBCM means. I'm just going to select one for now anyways. It doesn't matter. I'm going to hit finished. So my vehicle is connected to the scanner. It has my 09 Silverado. You can see I don't have it scanned yet so I'm going to hit start scan. So one generic code showed up. We'll see if it what it's for. Okay, so here it is. Control module communication bus off. Probably because on that previous set I selected um, whatever that was. Not too important. But also, so here's the activity log. Um, here's the cart. You can purchase additional things per your vehicle. ABS codes are the anti-lock brake system codes. That's different than your OBD2 codes. When you buy a scanner, it's going to have a couple different options. You're going to have ABS, you're going to have airbag, and you're going to have OBD2. Anything manufactured after 1996 has to have OBD2 generic codes. Um, Anti-lock brakes and airbag systems, that's a whole different set of codes. I'm not as familiar with them, so I can't really help you. So you can buy the codes per, for just one vehicle or all vehicles. I haven't played with this. I have a different scanner that I use personally. This is just to help people who purchase mine on eBay uh, connect to their vehicle because quite a few buyers had difficulty. The only other thing I want to show you before I close the video is about updating the firmware. And uh, here it is. So I'm going to I think manage mobile scans. My mobile scanner showed up right there. Here it is. Everything shows up. I want to see if there's an update. It's current, so it's the current firmware version. If, you know, not too often, but whatever, every three months or so, maybe you want to check, see if there's an update, go right ahead. Some of them I bought, I've had to update the firmware. Some of them have been up to date. It just kind of depends. I believe the current version as of 
um, end of February 2016 is 3.1. Well, I hope this helps anyone who buys this and is having trouble connecting to iOS device. Uh, I can't help you with an Android device because I don't have one, otherwise I would also make a video. Let me show you one other feature. When it goes to manage mobile scans, to unpair it from your device, it, you, what you want to do is hit forget device. Now this unpairing is, let's say, uh, you want to pair it to another device because in my experience if you didn't unpair it and then you want to pair it later you have to or, or you want to pair a different one to a uh, different device you'll have to delete the Bosch app so just make sure you unpair it. so now the device is unpaired from my Bosch app but it's still paired to my iPad so you can see it's still connected so that means it's still paired to this iPad. So now if I open the Bosch app up, it will not recognize my scanner. What I need to do is hit forget this device, hit OK. Now I can start the process from the very beginning again. Well, sorry if this video quality is just so-so. Um, I'm doing the best I can and I hope this is helpful.